a women's only jiu-jitsu camp is going down in October. So that's with myself and Rikako. Um, and we're hoping to just get lots of women from all around the world uh, to be amazing training partners for each other. Yeah, it's totally a different vibe when you get to train with only women. So I guess that happens around the world with all the different girls from around the world. You walk into any jiu-jitsu academy and you have a lot of men to train with. And there's usually, you know, between two to maybe ten women at every given club at any given time that you can train with. Um, and it's completely different. So I would say maybe 80% of my training partners are men um, and they're great. <laughs> I, they're my favorite roles, you know, I, I love training with men, but it's completely different. So uh, it's different jiu-jitsu, it's different strength. It's, uh, it's a, you know, very different vibe. And um, when you roll with a girl, you have to completely change your game what's more, I guess, realistic in a competition scenario. So girls have different hip movement. We, we're a lot more flexible. Uh, we play a lot more, or especially the lower weight classes will play a lot more open guard and spider guard and lasso guard. Whereas, you know, the men that are 70 kilos plus probably don't play that game very often because it's just a different body type. Um, so I think it's really good to get down and train with girls that are a little bit closer to your weight. Uh, another thing that also happens is um, it's real, you know, if you're training with, a, uh, with men all the time, you actually don't really know if they let you have the move or if you definitely executed the technique right. So girls are actually quite competitive and we roll really hard and if something doesn't work, you don't have an excuse. You know it's, you have to fix your technique or fix your jiu-jitsu or solve that next puzzle and it makes you improve a lot quicker. Um, so all of jiu-jitsu. <laughs> so Rikako is um, pretty much, I would say, the best person in the world, male or female, hands down, on the spider lasso guard. Um, so she's going to be teaching her spider lasso game and transition from all the different guards as well and as well as her sort of, she'll give us a glimpse of her daily routine that she does, uh, which I think will be amazing because she is a four-time black belt world champion. Um, and then I'm going to be teaching the top game. So I'm going to be teaching passing and focusing on that. So we'll have probably Rikako in the morning uh, teaching guard and then myself teaching passing in the afternoon. So we'll, we'll get a real exposure to, um, I guess, you know, creating a game from top and a game from the bottom. Yeah, so absolute Thailand, it's got, uh, the mat space is massive. Uh, we just got new mats and uh, it's sort of like outdoors with, you know, outdoors with, with covers. Uh, it's a really cool place to train. There's a weights area as well if anyone wants to do that. But the biggest thing for me is just a lot of mat space so we can actually do really hard rolling. Uh, you can have a shower straight away, go to the beach and hang out um, and then, you know, come back again and do it again or hang at the pool, go and get some amazing delicious food and then come back and train again and share techniques and share knowledge. I think just it'll be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to, you know, just being somewhere warm and having an amazing time like on the beach, soaking up the sun and then doing what I absolutely love, which is jujitsu. So uh, the biggest thing for me, I think, is like sharing that experience with other women from all over the world, all different shapes and sizes. Um, and the really cool thing you get to do is like really bond over, over jujitsu. So, uh, you know, we're not going to compete. It's not a competition. We don't have, we can actually be there to support each other and learn from each other. Uh, even Rikako and I competed against each other a few times and we can come together and, and teach this camp and actually share what we do best with other women because in the end that's what makes you better and makes you improve and it makes everyone else improve. So for me like being surrounded by other women from all around the world with different experiences um, and coupled with like a lot of good fun we'll go and you know do a bit of shopping and have some nightlife and and hang at the beach and it'll be um, just a whole lot of fun. No, it's, the camp is absolutely for everybody. So even though there will be um, quite a few advanced girls on the mats, uh, it's open for everyone and it's designed that anyone can pick up the techniques and learn. So uh, there's a lot of white belts already signed up. Uh, and to me, you're always trying to learn the technique at black belt level from the best in the world, get all the details. Uh, you know, you can record your techniques, review it later and take time to really learn them. But uh, anyone from white to black belt is welcome and you'll benefit from, uh, you know, no matter what belt you are, even if you're just a new beginner.
So when you land in Thailand, uh, we pick you up from the airport and uh, drop you off at in Rawai, which is um, in Phuket. And the beach is amazing. It's a little bit less touristy than like the main part of Phuket. Um, the accommodation options are all really good. So if you choose the bungalow accommodation, it's basically bungalows on site at Absolute MMA Gym. Um, so you can literally wake up, roll out of bed, straight onto the mat and train all day, drill all day, whatever you want to do. So uh, that's a really good option. Uh, you can also stay that mid-range option, which is a separate hotel, which is really spacey and, and you'll have really good um, rooms there. Uh, and then the resort accommodation has a pool and it's got villas. You literally open the door and step into the pool. So that's my favourite and, and it's uh, absolutely beautiful here. Um, food is supplied as well, so you have the option of, you know, everyone gets uh, just basic Thai food three times a day, or you have the option of upgrading uh, to like health food being delivered to you as well and different smoothies and, and local fruit. So that's amazing. And besides the actual jujitsu training twice a day, so we'll do a training session at 9 a.m. and then again at 5 or 6 p.m. Uh, it will include about an hour of technique and then an hour of sparring. Uh, but Besides jiu-jitsu, we actually have tours organised every single day. So we go to different islands, we go to night markets, we try different foods, we go shopping. Um, so that's all taken care of as well. We go and see the big Buddha and, and get to play, you know, the tourist part as well um, as training in jiu-jitsu. I guess it's full Thailand experience. It's full uh, jiu-jitsu lifestyle experience.